Mm. I'm trying to show you my fingers. How do they look? In my skin, how does it look? In my TV, how does it look? I guess it's looking good. Anyway, uh, that aside, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. My name is Namale Eva. Happy to be back here. Yeah. It's going to be a short vlog. As I usually say, but sometimes it's really a long one. Anyway, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Namali is my name, as I said. Today is going to be a short one. We're going to be talking about worms. The ring worms, the tape worms, as in worms in general. Most of us don't have beautiful skins. And what we eat is what we are, or what is within our bodies is what... Um, uh, prevails on our skin you know to have such a beautiful skin such nice fingers you know flourish skin glowing you have to cleanse your bodies I've been talking about cleansing and clean but we tend to forget about worms we tend to to ignore worms we can, we get worms from dirty places drinking dirty water uh, through air yes uh eating raw meat yes and raw vegetables yes i would say raw vegetables uh vegetables like you know all these salads yes it's good to have a salad but it's good to have a salad if you can uh, you know sprinkle some vinegar on it yes because vinegar kills bacteria as yes i said it vinegar kills bacteria so Please, some of us have um, a repap. How do they call them? Those cars. They come up and you, you tend to ignore them. You're like, maybe it's a dead skin. No. It's a sign that you have a lot of worms in your stomach. Yes, and you need to treat them. I'm not a medical practitioner that I'm going to tell you which medicine to take or um, what to use in regards to the tablets or medicine or drugs or syrups no but i'm just going to give you a short um small remedies that you can use first of all signs that you have ringworms or you have worms number one you'll be you're down there i think you know what i'm talking about down there i will say it you anus did i say it yes i had to say it yes I'm not going to use these medical medical terms no your anus will start itching you you'll be scratching it you can imagine and this applies to both kids and you know grown-up people imagine someone walking and then they're scratching their behind you know in there and then they are going to come and say hello how are you nice to meet you yes I'm sorry I'm trying to adjust my dress because mm, I know I'm looking fly anyway yes your anus is going to be itching you you're going to be have a constant cough yes i know sometimes cough is not about you know having worms but sometimes yes it's having worms in your stomach you'll be coughing like like constantly like paka 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 you'll be coughing non-stop and it's gonna be a dry cough yes it's also one sign that you have ringworms you'll be having those big scars on you I don't know how they call them in medical terms. I don't know how they call it. Yeah, but you'll be having, yes. You'll be losing appetite. Once you lose appetite, most of the time you have worms and you need to treat them. Another thing is um, you'll be burping. You know, it's called burping or belging. Yeah, burping like, yeah. You know, all the time you're like, yeah. And you'll be having a lot of gas in your stomach. Yeah, you'll be passing out, passing out gas, pew, 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 you know those things behind there. Yeah, you'll be passing out gas. And um, what else? You're going to have a bloated stomach. Your stomach is going to be all filled up with gas. Every time, like I said, you're going to be farting and passing out for gas. And another thing, your poopoo, -poo, yes sometimes it will be smelly too much yes i said it it's gonna be smelling too much like mm. you leave the washroom and someone is like who, who who even entered this washroom you know who has been here so those are some of the signs that you have ringworms that you have worms that you have worms in your stomach yes 
and you're going to be having nausea constant you constant dizziness you being dizzy all the time you don't have energy you know you are feeling weak you're feeling sickly yes those are signs that have ring one and mostly this is mostly in the children you lose weight and also you know grown-ups but i mean mostly with the children you'll be you'll be asking yourself what's up with this kid i've been feeding him with this or that i've been giving him you know a well-balanced diet the fruits the eggs the milk the, you know all that but nothing is changing my dear take your child to a hospital or try to you know cleanse him or her it depends how old is he or she is cleanse them treat them those are signs of worms i'm not saying they are but some yeah because some of us we feed tulia we eat a lot but we tend to be like i'm not saying it, it is but it is also part of that so check yourself if you've treated well if you treated your body well like very well and nothing is working out why not why not do one yourself yes so don't ignore that sense and you know what sometimes we don't really take it serious some of us not not including me mm -mm, i do one every three months but some of us tend to ignore those signs and be like i don't know it's this i don't know it's, but we have to do one ourselves three months every three months now you have to have some people hmm, you can ask them how long have you you know have you taken without the warming they'll be like i don't know how long i last did that 12 years 10 years one year six years that it's not even concerning them so anyway worms are so dangerous to our stomachs though it doesn't really show like on our bodies but we have to we have to deworm ourselves i'm just going to tell you like three remedies you can use to deworm yourself number one this is called garlic yeah i guess you can see it's called garlic in my language it's called katungulu chumu yes get one you know one piece of garlic like this chop into small pieces or like this you can cut it into you know half like this half and then swallow it in the morning on an empty stomach if you can't swallow half you can chop it in small pieces and swallow it like you're swallowing a tablet you know do it for three days three days and then you're good to go i'm not saying they're all going to be out but i mean you're going to reduce the number of them that you have if you can do it um for a week that would be so good but if you can't there are some people who cannot even swallow you know such things oh garlic is smelling bad oh garlic i'm allergic to garlic then for you garlic is not your thing another thing is cloves i don't know whether you see them let me take some here yeah these are cloves yeah in luganda i don't know what they're called cloves boil them then drink the water from these cloves or get clove powder put it in uh, hot water and then drink it still drink it in the morning on an empty stomach it's not necessary in the morning because some people their morning is like when you wake up you're going to work or you're going to do this on an empty stomach it's not necessary in the morning but on an empty stomach boil it drink the water or else get clove uh, powder yeah put it in hot water in hot water and then drink it something else you can get turmeric i have turmeric turmeric is called a beansali yes uh you can get those beansali h-o-h-inzali put it on um boil your milk get your milk add a teaspoon of turmeric in milk and then take it on an empty stomach in the morning you may have a running stomach after doing this after taking garlic maybe after taking cloves or maybe after taking turmeric and milk but it's okay it's okay if you can really do it when you're at home yeah that in case you have a running stomach you know you can just uh, be in your area and you help out yourself that would be good but all i can say is guys let's stop ignoring these things called ones and another thing that i can advise you stop drinking unboiled water 
and boiled water. Yes, we get these parasites. Sleep in a mosquito net. Yes. A mosquito is also a parasite, though I'm talking about worms. Now I'm talking about in general. Yes. Let us develop a habit of putting on slippers or sandals in the house. Because something like, something called a, te, um, a ringworm. Tepo. Tepo munga. Yeah, please tell me about it. Whether it's a tepo. There's one worm that we get while walking barefooted in the house. Either way, in the house outside, we get one worm. I think it's a ringworm. Yeah. I think it's a ringworm. We get it when we're just walking barefoot. So let us develop an uh, um let us develop a tendency of putting on slippers or sandals in the house because you never know where you're stepping maybe in the kitchen maybe in the washroom on the floor a worm is something small but it can just go through your skin and then start it stuck in your blood by the way another symptom of uh oh, you're having worms you, you become anemic just like this, you lose blood, you don't have blood, but I know every time you're getting sickly, yes. So please and please and please try as much as you can to deworm yourselves. It's not something you take serious, but I think it's best we take it serious. Yeah. What you are, I mean in your body is what is gonna show out. Don't think all these skin problems are just you know acne and fungal infection and this and that. Sometimes it's a worm setting us sucking our blood out eating our food every time you're getting in jelly pluma and you feel like you want to eat every now and then those are worms so that's the best remedy and another thing go to the hospital i'm not going to show you my medication that i take because i don't want to, to recommend anyone to go buy those medicines and say ah oh, it's eva who told me this no but all i can say is um go to the hospital buy those medicines or those syrups or whatever it is take it thrice no 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 after every three months you will see a difference the bloating the fatigue the weakness the losing appetite the being anemic you know all that it will fade away slowly yeah you will see a very the itching of the you know down there you'll be itching yourself you know it's not right it has developed that habit of uh, deworming ourselves I'm mostly with the kids, the cough that we get a bit now and then, yeah, the air that we beat sometimes, you just next to someone and they are coughing so much. Please, you can use a mask of let we're using masks. You can use a mask and um, it's something that I wanted to talk about. Let us deworm ourselves. It's simple, it sounds simple and it sounds like it's not a serious thing, but it is serious. It is really serious. Anyway, thank you for watching my YouTube. My name is Namale Eva. And there you is my Kagali. My name is Namale Eva. Like, subscribe, and comment. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. I like my fingers. Lovely. I love you. Mm -hmm.